Hey fans, welcome back to Gigabytes Motherboards and Bricks YouTube channel. My name is Leon Chen. And again, for all of you AMD fans, if you guys haven't heard, the new Ryzen processor is out. And we want to share with you guys the different boards that Gigabyte has that supports the new AM4 platform from AMD. To my right here, I have an AB350 Gaming 3. So let's show you guys what this board features so you know what to expect when you build your new AM4 PC. This board supports the RGB Fusion, so it has multicolor LED support. It has Smart Fan 5, so you have control over your fan, as well as you have all those hybrid fan pin headers for liquid cooling support, water flow sensor support. All these are at your fingertips, and you can control it even in the BIOS. This board, of course, is VR ready for the next generation of gaming. For all of you guys that are trying to get into VR, this definitely satisfies that VR condition. So if you want to do or try what and, and get an understanding of what the hype is about, this is definitely one of the boards to look at. It also supports USB 3.1 Gen 2 for all of you people that want to be future proof when 3.1 devices start coming out. You have your NVMe PCIe ready. M.2 support, so it goes up to 22 110 millimeters. Okay, so as you look on the front of the box, you can see this board does support Ryzen, it supports all of the CPUs from the 1800X all the way down to the 1700. It is a B350 chipset. As we move to the back, you can see on the RGB Fusion, it shows that accent LED overlay, which you'll see a little bit more later and in detail when we get to the board. It has support for RGB. W, RGB UV, as well as just standard RGB LED strips. You have your Smart Fan 5 with six temperature sensors and five fan pin headers on board. You have your audio, your amp up audio to give you the best audio performance, and of course, you have your Realtek LAN with CFOS speed to give you packet prioritization and better, a better internet experience. You also have your USB 3.1 Gen 2s and your USB DAC up 2s, and our USB DAC up 2s give users to the option of adjusting their voltage to compensate for longer cable lengths or for power hungry devices that often drop the connection due to the lack of power a standard USB port provides. And we talked about the M.2 and of course it has the ultra durable PCIe armor. So let's look at the accessories first and then we'll open, the, we'll take the board out and we'll have a closer look. Alright, so here's all of the accessories in the box out, laid out in front of you so you can see what comes with it. You have your AB350 Gaming 3 user's manual, you have a multilingual installation guide, you have the driver disk for the motherboard. Of course, make sure to get the most updated drivers, go on to the Gigabyte website under your product category to make sure you have the most updated drivers. You have an extension cable for the LED pin headers and this supports that bottom pin header that supports the RGBW or RGB UV LED strips. You have your rear I.O. and of course this is all in black and has all of the different connectors and I.O. ports labeled for all of the audio. You have two packs of SATA cables and each pack contains one right angle connector so you have a total of four SATA cables here. You have your G connector connected connector here so you can actually connect all of your front panel pin headers and easily connect it inside the chassis directly onto the motherboard and of course a Gigabyte Gaming case badge. So let's get all this uh, cleaned up and we'll move over to the motherboard. Alright AMD fans so we have the board let's talk about it. You can see that it, it's in the classic black and red AMD color scheme. We have that AM4 socket here. If you guys are planning on using the same cooler, it still has that retention bracket. So if you're using a cooler that utilizes this retention bracket, you can still continue to use the same one. If, you're, if you have a cooler that implements a new backplate, you have to purchase a new backplate from the third party cooler manufacturer. Or you can just purchase a new cooler altogether. Now, earlier we talked about Smart Fan 5, and we said that this board has a total of five hybrid fan pin headers, so let's do a quick count for you guys. We have two hybrid fan pin headers at the top for the CPU, one on the right of the board, another one on the bottom of the board, 
and another one on the opposite side of the board. So that gives you a total of five hybrid fan pin headers to cool your PC down for whatever you need it to do. You have your CPU power here, four DIMMs to support DDR4 memory, an accent LED overlay that can actually be changed out and removed or swapped out for different types of styles and designs. You have your 24 pin power connector, two SATAs uh, that are vertically mounted or vertically facing, and then you have another two SATAs at the bottom here that are right angled facing away from the board. And right below that, you have an additional two more SATAs that are vertically facing or upward facing as well. And below that, you have your front panel pin headers. Earlier, we showed you that G connector, which allows you to connect all of your chassis pins directly to the G connector first and then into that front panel pin header slot. Right next to that, you have your USB 3.0 header, your fan header that we showed you earlier, and an additional two USB 2.0s, and your front panel audio. And you can see right here, we have that audio noise trace guard, trace path here that protects the digital and analog side to prevent any distortion or any interference. You have two PCIe slots with ultra durable metal shielding to protect your heavier graphics cards in case uh, you want to do any type of VR, you're using a brand new graphics card that has some weight. This will protect your PCIe slot from uh, distorting or actually being pulled out of the motherboard. And of course, you have your M.2 that goes up to 110 millimeters in length, and that's a 22110. Let's move to the rear I.O. so you can get a better look at what types of connections you have available. You have your PS2. You have a total of one, two, three, four USB 3.1 Gen 1s, as well as a USB DAC up 2 here, and then you have two USB 3.1 Gen 2s in type A. And your video outputs, you have a DVI-D and an HDMI. And of course, you have that Realtek NIC here that incorporates with CFOS speed so you can do some packet prioritization and get a better internet experience while you're using this motherboard. All right, guys, so that wraps it up for our unboxing and overview of the AB350 Gaming 3 motherboard. If you guys like this video and you want to see more, be sure to like and subscribe to the official YouTube channel of Gigabyte Motherboards and Bricks. That's youtube.com forward slash Gigabyte Motherboards. For other promotions, you guys can check out our Facebook page. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.